Lady Cannon. Oh, you're an anarchist, then. I'm wearing sunglasses. You'll start naked. Don't be afraid, cat. Come on. for me. Why? Is it loose? No. I want the suntan even on my finger. Don't you? No. What are you thinking?
Look at this. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. He's either English or American. Look at all his books. Maybe he's a hippie. Is he moving? No, wait a second. He's American, I told you. Look. Who cares? Let's go. It could be English, Chinese, or American. Solitary type gives me a pain. Maybe he's a painter. Or a writer. Maybe he's a junkie. How the hell should I care? And what about you? Me? It was you who chose this place. All you talked about was Africa, the desert, solitude. It's solitude. I'm completely indifferent. What you say now, but in Rome you went on for a year talking about coming here to Morocco. And if you deny that, it means you're neurotic. <laughs> Catch me! <laughs> anymore. Must it be here? Here or anywhere else. It's all the same. It's all alike here. It's absurd. What is? The sea is the color of the sea. And the sky is the color of the sky. And the sand is the same as anywhere else. How can you tell we're in Africa? There should be some difference, don't you think? Oh, I get it. You should have brought along the National Geographic. White sands, glorious technicolor tints. Disappointed? Hi. Oh, God. I really goofed. What have you done? The thermos is empty. I forgot to fill it. So I go get it, huh? Okay. His name is Eddie. Eddie Kenner. Let's 
do it. Before, not after. <laughs> I'll fill you full of babies. I'll tell you what I want. I'll tell you where to take the pills. Now go find them. Hey, what are you doing? There's chickens down below. You'll start them on the damn thing. So what did I do wrong? The guy was going by and stopped to light a cigarette. That's how I found out his name was Eddie. Look, can't you get it through your head? You're not a beach bunny, you're my wife. Or maybe you didn't know. Listen, you stop being jealous, I'll leave you. My God, do you think I'd mind if they gawk? I don't give a damn if they drool at you. What do I care? Only you keep them busy looking, you do all you can. Apparently with you, it's a morbid little habit. No, that's not what annoys you. It's all too clear to me. You're nothing but possessive and a tyrant. You're just trying to stop me from enjoying myself, from being happy, young, alive. If that's the American idea of a good wife, then I'm wrong for you. Are you? Yeah. You're quite sure? Stay away from me. Somehow I've got a feeling you're perfect. Ah. More than loyal and entirely qualified to wean the brood of kids you're going to get. <laughs> No, I don't want to. Leave me alone. Talk, talk, talk. You're only good at saying things that don't mean a thing, like your projects. What's that got to do with it? You want to know? I'll tell you. You waste time designing things that no one ever asks for and no one ever needs. Crowding your head up with ideas and theories. For you, it's all a game. You're always playing. And then, there's always Daddy's check. What doesn't seem to trouble you is pride, obviously. Did you say pride? Do you think you can talk to me of pride? When exactly did all your pride keep you from spending it? Meaning what? I mean all those charge accounts. Daddy, I'm fed up with your good almighty arrogance and your overbearing conceit. I'm trying to teach you to behave like a wife. Whether you're ever going to learn that is a moot point. Exactly. You want to teach me everything. It's a drag. I don't want to be treated like a child by a failure like you. If you really want to know, I accepted you. I chose you because I wanted to help you. Then shut up and start helping. Ah! No! No, I won't! Oh, you're so stupid. All you know about women is we touched him. Like a blind man, a pain in the ass. That's what you are. The guy's got to test the water before driving. He was afraid of drafts. It's a far cry from that American guy, Eddie. Shut up about him, will you? I will not. He scratched me. Oh. He's different, free, confident. You've got no confidence at all, not even in yourself. You're just boring, pretentious, and conceited. And neurotic. Sure I am. That's a great advantage, mm -hmm. don't you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're better lovers. You know what you are? Envious of everybody that's got something that you haven't got. And that American's got something that you lack. Mm. Charm. 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 Chamo! Usa! Come on, you're a friend! Ja, 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 Thank you, Dad. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
No, no. Fun and freedom is one thing. But to become a clochard, whiskey, nothing. What's the matter with that? Just imagine, not to have to work. No time. The idea of making love, whiskey, whoever you want. The interesting thing about the hippie revolution is its lack of taboos. What do you mean? That sexually nobody belongs to anyone. Taboos are gone. A philosophy that for me is logical. It's all new. Go on. Well, it's a rather important concept, I think. The whole point is they reject whatever attitudes and ideas that continually close us in. Sexually. And politically. They're liberated. A pagan morality, very appealing to me. Not to have anyone around telling you you can't do your own thing. It's simple. Anarchy is what you want, Dave. Oh, now, wait a minute. No, I'm serious. When you're old, my friend, that kind of living is no longer quite so appealing. How do you go on then? Sooner or later you have to work, and you're back where you began. Well, maybe it's time to change all that anyway. What if enough have rejected the whole idea of money? Society as it is couldn't continue. Perfect. You'd like to destroy the economic community. Pure anarchy, but a menace to society. Always politics. Don't you ever get tired of it? <laughs> Can't you find anything else to talk about? Who's talking about politics? We're talking about hippies. Do you find it interesting? No, no. Pretty dull. Chia? No, she's mm. conservative. Discipline. They only depress her. They mean disorder. They're moral. Unclean. Oh, come off it. What's all this big talk? The leftists, the rightists, the rebels, the opposers. What ball breakers. What do they want? What do you want? Well done.
Did you? Did that French bro did you? I noticed you're staring at her. You were all aroused, weren't you? Uh, like you and your fascist friend. Stop being the non-conformist. You were lodging along perfectly well. Here. Look. Surprise. Yeah? It's my mother. She's going to visit us. Did you ask her to? Well, did you? No, you know what she's like. She's always moving about. She'll look bored here so Don't worry. Why is she coming? She's coming to visit her daughter. She has a right to, hasn't she? Or are you jealous of my mother, too? Isn't that the flight she's on? Lucia's mother. Huh? Oh, yes, but hello. May I? Oh, yes, sure. Come in, please. Uh, I was just finishing taking a shower. Excuse me, I'll, I'll just be a second. Excuse me. I'm probably intruding. Oh, not at all. Lucia has said very little regarding your profession, actually. She's much too vague about it. That's Lucia. I remember her saying you were some kind of architect or urbanologist. I didn't really understand. In fact, the only project of yours, she mentioned, also rather vaguely, had something to do with the future. Well, I have a Yale degree in architecture. If that's what you want to know. Not exactly. I imagine you're much too modest about it all. What do you mean? A degree? No, I didn't mean a degree. I meant all the things I see here. Did you design them? Well, most of them, yes. The ideas are mine. Well, it's only dabbling. But I do it because I think that cities of the future are fascinating. What is it you really do, I want to know? Or is that rude? Not at all, I'm a loafer. Well, they are not very good as husbands, you know. Apparently you want to marry Lucia, Vero? Oh, dear. I think I've made a guff. Well, I shall be more careful. May I sit down? Certainly. What about here? Have you a match for this? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> it belongs, I trust, to Lucia. What? Whatever you are hiding behind you. <laughs> She's hopeless. Ever since she met you. She's in love, I suppose. But you didn't ask her to marry you. It's Lucia who wants the wedding. Well, this must be a big surprise to you then, am I right? No. I knew that she... You 
sure about what you're saying. She wants to marry me? Amazing, isn't it? I've really spoiled Lucia. I want the best of life for her. But you don't know her. You see, I doubt if you realize what it's going to be like. No. It's only now that I'm beginning to. Do you mind one more question? How do you plan to maintain the standard of living of a jaded girl of 19? She's always gotten what she desired. Both her father and I have indulged her more than you could imagine. You're divorced? No, but I never see him. She's heard everything. Her own plane, exotic clothes, fancy schools in England, Hong Kong, Tunis. Nancy, you want to terrorize me psychologically. But you are not frightened, are you? No, not really. You just want me to be honest with you. I live on the generosity of my father, who possesses a brick factory that's correctly and orderly run by my brother. I don't do a thing. What do you mean? You don't do a thing. You have your studio, your work. Uh, since the day I've graduated in 65, I've designed one project for a friend up in Maine. A crazy plastic bar. <laughs> I've yet to be paid. The rest is simply a bunch of ideas. Interesting, but really only clutter. Architecture is fun, amusing, that's all. But as a source of income, it can't compete with my father. Okay? And can two manage on his generosity? I think so, yes. That is until I become a new Gropius, Corbusier, right? Would you like to speak to my dad? Mind if I don't. A disappointing morning, but very pleasant. Wait a minute. Maybe we better drink to this charming buying and selling of humanity. You're not at all like a mother. I have no desire to be. Why? I don't really copy a carbon copy. At the age of 14, I chose to be different. Lucia, don't say such silly things. I'm entitled to be different. Tell us. Do you agree? Who, me? I think I'm inclined to agree with Lucia. She's right. A wise parent should expect this, don't you think? Obviously, we are useless. <laughs> Well, it's one thing to learn from their wisdom, and another to use them as a model. No, you better get along without me. I'm very old and crotchety, on the way to elimination. I'll come with you.
Let me see what you've got. Sono molto curioso. She's right. I'm a bit like a baby. If you ask me to think of Woods, for example, I'll think of Little Red Riding Hood. And the guard. Does he let you enter the woods? No, he sees no path. <laughs> you really? I see it. There's a wolf waiting behind a tree. Strange who you bump into entirely by chance. What have you got? Chow. Scotch? Scotch. Ooh. What are they? No, they belong to seagulls. We found them on the beach. On the beach? They lay them in the sand. That's where they're buried. But they're buried only if the beach is approved. It is especially at night. Oh, they love Dance with me, Eddie? Will you, please? Sure. They're so odd-looking and big. She wanted a glass of water. 
Well, I'm going to bed. Well enough to think. I'll walk you back. But aren't you too tired to? All right, if you want. This is all very good for Lucia. She's ready. Completely happy. And this place, so pleasant. The charm of you is contagious. I like young people very much. But it passes quickly, just as soon as I get back. It's a pity. The Mediterranean era is heady for anyone used to the eternal gloom of England like Lucia is. She didn't mind it. I'm not used to that. I was brought up in warm climates of Rimini and Pescara. I'm the daughter of a diplomat. I'm used to traveling. I'm always on the move. Always meeting new people. Know what I mean? I need constant change. I'm hopeless, more than you can imagine. I'm dedicated to knowing interesting people and interesting things. To live with grace and without drama. Do you think it's fatuous? Yes, perhaps it is. But it's one thing I think I do have. Good night now, Frank. I'm pretty exhausted. It's been a long day. No, please. No. no. I want to go back to Rome. Eddie's taking me to the airport. 
Non serve, viene Eddie con me. Oh, le ho trovate. Hey. Eccole. Ciao.
Mrs. Setford. Suo fratello la sta aspettando. Yeah. Listen, by June we'll have had it. What else can I do? To go on producing like this at a big loss would be fatal. Look, I don't care. You know what I'm planning to do. Close it. Screw the plant and the unions. It's not my fault anyhow. The construction on the Flaminia and the plans for Spinacetta are up to you. I mean, uh, you can take a look at what's going on, can't you? It's the least you can do, no? I mean, hell, you're an architect, aren't you? Anyway, don't worry. It's Pinacetto. There's a, a damn good guy who knows his job. I'll put you in contact with Corleone. Look, I'm telling you, it just doesn't pay. This operation's falling to bits. It's pointless to go on. The banks, they choke us. Strikes are in the order of the day. And creditors, uh, please call again. Uh, fortunately, we've still got some real estate. Other ones. What about the workers? They'll sell them up the moon? <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll do better. <laughs> no, I'll stick them down in the pit and watch them fry. Hey, you got a cigarette? We got no choice. What's the point in finding it? Are we expected to nursemaid them indefinitely? They don't want to work. That's the point. Under your conditions. Ah, but I guess you know. What's this shit? You never come near there. Dad, neither. You pick up your check at the end of the week. You already got it made, you know. But I sweat for it. I'm not like you. You sweat only at tennis. But you don't play too well. Uh -huh. But I do it with style. Listen, why don't you come down Monday morning? I mean, you can take a look at the situation. We've got up a lot of it. We've got to. Because if I get burned, you're going to be fried. You better remember that. At last, where did you go? I'll go. Leave it alone. Pronto? Who is it? Stella. Ciao. Yes, yes. My lovely Lucia is at home. She's cleaning the toilet at the moment. Here she comes, poor thing. I'll pass it to you. Do you, dear? Idiot. Hello. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> yes, just the way you said. It took me an hour. Okay. You pick me up? Okay, bye-bye. going off trust up. To funeral. To cannibal party. It'll be fun. And that group of imbeciles? George is our bed, huh? Aren't you coming? Not in that hole, thank you. Not tonight. What? Hole, indeed. We were out of the hole. But no, sir. You had to come back to Rome, didn't you? And now you're being squeamish. George's is all right by me. I'm not an object that you can move about from place to place. One day here, another one there. <laughs> you shouldn't complain. You ought to be glad you keep moving. You get variety. No, no. You go alone. I'm busy. You go have fun. <laughs> you? You're busy? The factory. I'm supposed to go and help my brother. Oh, please don't make me laugh, huh? Smart, Alec. And get rid of that stupid goo. I will not. It's my face. I like it. My friends like it. Sure, I can believe it. They're all like you. They got their culture where you got it from comics. You conformists dressed up like hippies. But you've all got Cadillacs. That's a hell of a lot better than playing around with models at the age of 30. Better than playing the drawing room communist while waiting for your dividends to come in. Better than criticizing the system while you're sucking it like a leech. Better stop. I'll be damned if I'll stop. You're a bore. You have the mentality of an old man. You are old. You've had it.
Signorina, vorrei avere un'informazione sul numero. 48, 13, 09. Sì, sì, aspetta. Nora Tosani. Ah, non ha lasciato nessun messaggio. In viaggio. Ho capito. Senta, e non mi sa nemmeno dire quando torna. Tardon. With a T at the end? Oh, can somebody write it down, please? Because I always forget these things. What kind of people live under those tents? Nomads, maybe. Do they still have them? Not around here. I think perhaps we're the real nomads. Or maybe Eddie. Do you hear that, Eddie? No, it's not true. But you've been all over Europe. Yes, but it's all about to end. A real nomad never stops. You're going back to America? Well, I haven't decided yet. It depends. It's afraid they'll send him to Vietnam. I don't think Eddie would be afraid of fighting. Look! A stork! Where? Up there, don't you see it? My God, a real stork. Does that bring good luck or bad? Brings babies. <laughs> <laughs> don't these walls ever end? Yes, love. What does it mean to you, Lucia? Who knows? Freedom, perhaps. For me, it's making love. For you, Eddie? He's bashful. The warm bodies shine together in the darkness. The hand moves to the center of the flesh. The skin trembles in happiness and the soul comes joyful to the eye. Yes. Yes, that's what I wanted. I always wanted. I always wanted to return to the body where I was born. Did you write that? No. <laughs> Allen Ginsberg wrote it. It's lovely. What's that part again about the soul? And the soul comes joyful to the eye. Yes. Yes, that's what I wanted. I always wanted. I always wanted to return to the body where I was born. return to the body where I was born.
it down to about 10 or 12 men. That's all. We only need one watchman. All he does here is sleep on. What you got to do here is easy. It's nothing. The only thing is to keep an eye on the goddamn account. All you got to do is keep an eye on the account. You're going to start tackling the back door. Otherwise, if I got to worry about this whole sticky mess, we'll never get out for lunch. It only needs a few weeks. Once we get over the crisis. The old man's too old. What are you going to do? He's just too tired. Who knows, it might be better not to take new orders, at least that is, until we can tackle the back library. You know how many we've got? deciding? Sure. All right, is it yes or no? I'm sorry, we'll talk about it later. All right, we gotta go now. Where do you think you're going? Look, now you gotta decide. Otherwise, you don't get another cent out of here. Got that? Strangest road right up. I'm sure it was the caretaker's cat. It's got deadly piss. But like toads. Toads? <laughs> you think we've got toads? Well, why not? We're the country just outside. You better go look at the linen then. Toads go mad for linen, clean and fresh from the laundry. You're still mad at me, aren't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. I was just angry. You, I'm sure you'll be a great architect one day, I'm, I'm sure. But you're right, don't you know that? I am a failure. But you're not. Oh, don't be ridiculous.
once in a while. I don't know. I... I'm sorry. I'm just... depressed. It was you. You're in Rome, right? Are you free? Then tomorrow, we can meet and have dinner together or something. The airport? You mean now? But I thought, it doesn't matter. I'll come and take you there. Twenty minutes, that's all. But why not? Yeah, I know, but... I didn't think you knew anybody here. That is, except Lucia and me. Listen, Eddie. Yes, yeah, sure, I'll tell you. Chair. Listen, are you... Uh, Nora? Are you with her? Pronto? Eddie? Pronto? Pronto? Pronto?
cosa vuole? Chi è? Sono il centro del signore Tosate. Cosa è successo? Un momento, prego. Your accent is American, is it not? Another resident tourist of Rome? No, no, not at all. My family lives here. We own a factory. We've been living here for several years. My wife's the daughter of... The daughter of Signora Dosati, we know. But uh, weren't you aware that uh, your mother-in-law was away? He? Yes, but I didn't know. We both just arrived from Morocco Perfect. from a vacation. I see. Scusi, Antim. Here you go. See? Ho capito. Sei in centrale tu? Va bene, ti chiamo io, eh? Ciao. Please, commissario, can't you tell me what's going on? If something's happened to Nora, I mean, no, thank you. Not just now. No, nothing happened to Signora Dosati. I'm not sure anything has happened at all. Signor commissario, permette. Sì? Senta, signor commissario, vedo. Ma che neuro è neuro? Ma che mi viene a dire? Balestra. Lo sai chi è quello, sì o no? Prego. This way. Do you know this one? Tell me. I beg you. You've hidden it. I don't. Why? Who is he? I was hoping you'd know what he has to do with Signora Dosati. I'm sorry, I'm afraid not. Oh, do you think that... I think that the gentleman you just saw is suffering from a very bad dream. Tell me, didn't you know that Signora Dosati had loaned her apartment to someone during her absence? No. I didn't know that. Strange, because he's a very well-known person in the world of physics. In fact, you may have heard of Professor Bergamo. I'm not quite sure. I know the name. The teachers at the university gives conferences in all the world. Highly honored. They say he's a genius. Sì, signor commissario, ma è anche schedato. Oh, fa balestra, tu ce l'hai coi froci. E vabbè, mica possiamo metterli tutti in galera perché non piacciono a te, scusa. All right, it's clear. Who isn't today? He doesn't touch minors, he breaks no laws. You know what I think? That suddenly he got a bit too lonely. So to make his life more interesting, he invented his story to tell the police. If he were not who he is, I wouldn't hesitate to put him in jail. But with that one, that's hardly going to help him. But you haven't told me what it is he said to you. Nothing, nothing. We shall get in touch with you when and if we have need of you, signore. Tu, Balestra, prendi le generalità del signore qua. Sì, signore. Anyway... Let's hope I have no need to call you. But then the whole thing was useless. You were in the house. My wife hasn't come back yet. No, la signora had to go to the airport. Why? Uh, she went to pick up her mother. Didn't you know?
Siamo. Attenzione. Non ti preoccupi. Mi raccomando, stai attento. I was tired of Paris because every day was freezing cold. Brave. I don't know, I just couldn't take it. Nora, we've got to talk. Mother, you're in Every time you go on a trip, you bring back all from Europe with you. Attenzione, quella è tardi. So, we got back to Rome immediately two days after you left with Eddie. Eddie? That child. Oh dear, I wonder what happened. He promised he would leave the keys inside the mailbox. Otherwise, I'll be really stuck. What? He used the apartment what? while I was away. I decided to loan it to him because it was nice and needed a place to stay. Poor guy, I felt sorry for you. He was running away from this person. Someone who was always looking for Eddie. Who was it? Some strange old man. A professor. We've been following him all over Europe, evidently. And Rome, too. It's also unbelievable, but ask Eddie. The old man and he were once very close. Eddie. A fairy. <laughs> I'll be damned. Often I can't tell, but I caught on to him soon. You know what? I noticed he was a bit impressed with your Frank. Man, no! <laughs> and Frank was mm -hmm. jealous of me. Anyway, I wanted to help him. Besides, they're usually neat and tidy, worse than women are. Staying with us tonight, aren't you? Of course she is. She can't go home now. Come on. You go, take the car to the guys, I'll get Tina to get the luggage. Yes, ma'am. I'm so tired of fighting. Can you help? Guardi, è pieno di sangue. È morto. 